Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last episode of Eco Lifestyle. I'm actually really sad that this is ending. I love this family so, so, so very much. But as you guys know, Let's Plays can't go on forever. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be the last episode. We're going to get Freddie and Tony married. We're gonna age up Teddy and kind of just wrap up their story. There isn't really much else for us to do. We've uh, juiced a lot. <laughs> We've done a lot. Our lot is beautiful. We definitely beat the Rags to Riches challenge. I did a poll on my Instagram stories yesterday and I asked you guys if you would rather have a movie style last episode that's the same as like the Island Living Rags to Riches that last episode where um, I film it and edit it, kind of like a movie with a voiceover, or if you wanted a normal playthrough, just like a normal episode as usual. And 41% of you wanted a movie and 59% of you wanted no normal playthrough. So we're gonna be doing a normal episode. It was actually really close, closer than I thought. But yeah, thank you guys for voting on the poll. And if you would like to participate in more polls like this, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I always put it at the bottom so that you guys can follow me there. So yeah, uh, school's going good. I hope everything's going good with you guys too. I'm really not liking this once a week video schedule. It really sucks, but it's just what works for me right now. I'm hoping that soon I can like work my way back up to like three or four videos a week but right now this is just what works with my schedule so thank you guys for being patient with me and bearing with me while I finish school I do have Celsius today I've got kiwi guava so let's crack this bad boy open and get started cheers to you oh oh my god what is happening Okay guys, here we are back on the eco lifestyle lot looking beautiful as ever. <laughs> so, oh, she got some strawberry juice going on. Hold up. Okay, so I did a little bit of prep for the wedding because we're gonna have it today because I want Teddy to be a toddler for this for some reason. I don't know why, I've just always had it in my head that she would be a toddler when they got married. So we have to get married today because tomorrow is her birthday. Um, and then in a couple days we got Mari's birthday. So we'll probably play up until then and then that'll be it. So I already planned the wedding event. I asked you guys if you think that they would be like a rustic barn, a rustic barn venue type of people or if they would just get married at their home lot and some of you guys said home lot oh shoot these are you guys have been telling me to replace these forever haven't you um yeah some of you guys said they seem like they would be like not extra at all and just get have like a small gathering at home and then some of you guys said a rustic barn i loved both of those ideas but um i thought we should just do a small wedding with only like close friends here on the lot. Since the lot's so pretty, we might as well take advantage of it. So I made this little area for the wedding. Nothing major, just the essentials. This is actually a wedding arch right here and I put like a giant hanging plant on it. So this is where they will be getting married. We just have a few seats here. We have the bar, of course, with some, <laughs> I put uh, Teddy's, not Teddy, Mari's leftover lemonade here just so people could drink it. Oh no, it went bad. <laughs> Never mind. And then there's this, um, there's this person, I forget who it is, but I'll put it on the screen for you guys. She is working on recreating the objects from uh, Making Magic one of the older expansion packs and making it for The Sims 4. This is one of those items. Um, but yeah, I'll put her name on the screen. I thought it was really cute and really appropriate for this wedding. Uh, and over here, we've got the banquet table, which I'll fill with food soon. And then we have the wedding cake. I don't know where this is from. See, I have so many mods in my game that I just like, I lose track of where things are from. But I don't even, this might even be from the game. I don't know, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this cake. Look at this freaking cake. How have I never seen this cake before? It is so beautiful and it's so perfect for what we need it for today. It's got this like beautiful 
leaf decor on the side and oh my god Mwah! chef's kiss literally like a chef made this a chef kissed this <laughs> but yeah it looks really good and it was under the gourmet cooking section of the refrigerator it was called a black and white cake i don't know i have no idea where it came from but i'm obsessed with it it's perfect it's gorgeous so we have a cake I always forget a cake, so I'm proud of myself for remembering this time. That's that. The wedding is at 5 o'clock, so I'm going to jump into Create a Sim so we, that we can figure out their um, wedding outfits. I was going to do this off camera, but I figured you guys would want to see it. I invited Olive, not Olive, yeah, Olive, uh, Tina and her family, including the new toddler. I invited Lena, Casey, and their toddler, Paris, and I also invited Tony and, oh my god, I always, I always forget her name. I think it's Briella. Oh. That's it. That's everyone that I invited. So, yeah, I already gave them their wedding outfits. I tried to keep it, like, um, in a rustic theme. So, yeah, they're all set, but these, these beans are not. Do you guys like my shirt? It's got a little chili pepper on it. It's embroidered. I thought that was so appropriate. It's just real spicy, you know? All right, let's have a look. Let's see what we got as far as wedding dresses go. I really don't think she would wear anything crazy. But I don't know. I guess it just depends on what she looks good in. <gasps> she has come so far. Okay, that's absolutely pretty. Definitely, I can see her in crochet, something crocheted or something lacy. You know, you know the vibes, guys. This is pretty, too. Holy cannoli. Love that. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Here's the mother load. Hmm. Oh my god. I love that so much. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, this is where I wish I always freaking say this because I'm so indecisive. So I like to get your guys' opinion. Oh my gosh. I think this one, it's more her style. Definitely. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ugh, she's so pretty. I'm so sad that we're not going to play with her anymore, you guys. What is that crap? <laughs> But I am excited. To I am excited to start not so berry. Not gonna lie, I'm really looking forward to it. I just I love these little heart earrings. They just look so good on her, and yeah, hearts because it's a wedding and it's love and all that good stuff. And I I love this makeup. This eyeliner looks fierce on her. The the nude lip is fantastic. All right. Well, I guess that's it then. I. That was easy. Some white shoes. Okay, let's move on to Freddy here. I know I don't have any like good suits. What is your form of wear? I don't mind this, but let's look at other things. Aww. A blush pink blazer. Love that. Ooh, a maroon blazer. Ooh. There's this one too. Oh, that's really cute. That's really cute. No. Oh, love the beige. Adorable. What's this? Hmm. Now I really don't know. Okay, this is option one, but let me have a look at those other two tops. Was this one? Ooh, cute. This one definitely screams wedding. Yeah, we're gonna have to go with that. Okay. Do we like these shoes? They match. Aww. That's adorable. Just adorable. You ready, Freddy? I said, are you ready, Freddy? All right, Mario, let's see what you got. What is your formal outfit? Cute, but I'm changing it. <laughs> what else we got? I swear, the stuff from that rustic wedding pack, it's so good. I use this stuff all the time. All the time. Little white shoes, okay. Let's give her braids, cause, oh my gosh, cute. Do I have earrings for kids? I do! Aww. Little stars. 
adorable what about these okay let's do those okay now last but not least we got little baby teddy here oh what happened to your brows there you go much better i cannot wait to see what she looks like aged up she's very unique looking so this is her formal wear it's really cute but we need something more wedding like you know how about this Everyone kind of got like a dusty pink vibe going on. That's really fancy. Should we put her in this? That's cute. So is that. So is that. Mm. Okay, we're doing that one so she can match with her sister. Those little baby shoes, very cute. Yep, and she can have a little bow on her head, like a little present. Hello, I'm here. Soy un regalo. <laughs> Oh, I hope I said that right. Okay, everyone is wedding ready. I'm not ready though, so I just guess I shouldn't say everyone. So I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Twitter about how The Sims updated the skin tones apparently and that <laughs> there was really no difference. I haven't looked yet, but uh, hearing that really bums me out. I thought that they were going to like introduce a color wheel and all that good stuff but apparently that's not coming until later okay so it's almost three o'clock we're just waiting for mari to get home from school and then a few hours from now we'll have the wedding it'll be like beautiful like sun going down vibes Let's just throw all these away. Throw away. Uh, nope. Sorry, no friends today. It's an important day, love. It's a very important day. I inv or I hired a bartender, and it's Cassandra Goth. So that's fun. Okay, she's home. So she just needs take a bath and then go to sleep for a little while. Tony's good. Freddy, you're good. Oh, she needs food. You know what, I might just make her happy. Anybody got time to take care of a toddler before a wedding? <laughs> I've gotten a lot more lax with cheating in my Let's Plays. I used to hate it, but you guys say you don't mind, so... I just do it when it's necess necessary. Necessary? No, no social media career. How are you doing, baby? You're looking fine, wagging your tail. Let's give her some kisses and huggies. Why don't you come over here, stock the table, serve all. All right, so that is not the right outfit. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? All right, go, oh my gosh, you're looking dapper, Freddy. Absolutely dapper, love it. Are you in your proper dress? Of course you're not. Those two are, thank goodness, looking so cute. Clean out the spoiled food. Let's put you in... Nope, nope, that wasn't it. This one. Lovely! Just lovely. Oh yeah, we need a photo booth. Shoot, where am I gonna put that? I guess it could fit over here if we get... If we put the... Oh, there's <laughs> Tina's child just alone. Um, hmm, this tree would be a nice backdrop, wouldn't it? Okay. So we can go ahead and add one of those, this thingy, subject mark, or actually we should do it like right here so we can actually get the tree in the background. Put a nice tripod. We probably already have a tripod in our <laughs> inventory, but it's fine. Put some lights out. Holla, look at us. So very fancy. I wish people would give wedding gifts. Why is that not a thing in this game? Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right. Um. Oh shoot! We should have gave baby Maxi a, a thingy or an outfit too. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. And how come there's no such thing as family pictures in The Sims either? Like an a, the ability to take a photo at the photo studio with more than two or more than three. Is it two? Is two the max? I forget. Hi, baby! You're so cute. Uh, okay. So, let's go to every day. Let's put you in... Yum's a little girl, so... 
I guess we could still give you a bow tie, a pink one. Aw, oh, look at you. So very cute. Yes, you. Fingers crossed nothing horrible happens at this wedding. It probably will, but you know what? I'm keeping an open mind. Okay, here is Tina's baby. Isn't he the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your life? Oh, man. So adorable. His name's Devin. Okay, we got Casey here. We got Tony wearing the outfits that I gave them. Thank you so much, sirs. I appreciate it. Oh, here's Olive. Who else is gonna spawn at this spot? Anyone? Anyone else? Lena, looking gorgeous. Everyone is spawning in the outfits I gave them. I could cry. I could freaking cry. There's Cassandra the bartender. I'm at the bar with her. Oh, why are you in that dress again? What? What is happening? Clean out spoiled food. Everything is going as planned. Oh, 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 another thing that I wanted to do actually, I wanted to put some juices out. I wonder if I'm able to put, like slot them into this like thing here. <gasps> I am. Okay, okay. Hold the freaking phone. Hang on. Let's put this sign right here. Let's, let's move the candle up there. Let's. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna sell that and this as well. And I'm just gonna put juices here. I wonder if people are gonna be able to grab them. Hopefully. Because I made these uh, specifically for the wedding. <laughs> There you go, a little juicy juice station. We can put some kombucha here for people to enjoy as well. Um, do I have any more juice in here? Oh, avocado, avocado juice. I guess we can put this out as well. <laughs> Why not? Oh, also you guys, when I was uh, preparing for the wedding, I had her die for deals in the dumpster because it was like overflowing they were uncomfortable she found a glow orb so i'm thinking we could like plant this right now and like cheat it into being cheat it to be blossomed and uh, yeah we can like wrap up the juice part of this let's play by um by having glow orb freaking juice okay where did it go okay if we set gardening state, growth stage, blossoming, bam. There's nothing on it right now, <laughs> but hopefully by uh, by the time the wedding's over and everything, it, it'll, uh, it'll be blossoming. Okay. Hi, you look amazing in that dress, Tina. I have to say. Okay, here's Paris. This is Lena and Kate. No, just Lena. Just Lena. Oh my God, the dumpster's overflowing again. Yeah, girl, work it. Get over here. Hey, I locked this. How are you guys still getting in there? Can you not? George is gonna freaking eat you. Okay, yes, get out. All right, lock. I'm just gonna lock it for everyone, TBH. All right, well, they're here, so. Oh, someone put on retro music. Perfect. You look great. Don't know what's going on with your eyelashes, but it is what it is. All right, let's put on romantic. Thank you. 
Here's a photo of Teddy. It's like being really glitchy right now, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get good pics, but this is good, this is good. At least I got one of her before we age her up. Oh my gosh, this is working. <laughs> How cute is this? Devin and Teddy. I really hate these poses though. I mean, this one's okay, but like, why they gotta stand so far away from each other? Okay, let's try and do the cake. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, cut wedding cake. Let's see if this works. Lamina. Nope. You know what? It's probably because it's on this table, huh? That's such an annoying flaw in this game that you can't cut the wedding cake unless it's on a, like a dining table or a countertop. She cut the cake without Freddy. Oh my gosh. I thought they were supposed to like feed each other it. Okay, but look at how cute this cake is. Oh my gosh. That's why it's called a black and white cake because it's chocolate with, with white frosting. Lovely. Just lovely. Wow. I invite our friends over and all they do is make a giant mess at our house. Love that. Thanks so much. I'm gonna add Yumi, is that her name? I'm gonna add her to the family so that she can take wedding photos of <laughs> of Tony and Freddie. I don't wanna do it with anyone that we invited because they live with people. I don't wanna have to go through the thing of like um, adding them back in the right household. So let's get her to do it. This child has made an absolute wreck of our house. Oh my gosh, and everyone's so sleepy. Yeah, we've been going for, holy cannoli, like 12 hours. Let's go ahead and end the wedding. I still want a photo though, please. 
I don't think I've ever had a wedding where I didn't have problems. Like, people didn't watch the wedding, they didn't eat, they didn't, like, sit down, the photo thingies didn't work. Oh, man. I wonder what that's like, to have things work. Okay, there we go, this one is working fine. This is so strange, this was a complete accident. But at least it looks like they love each other. Alright, well, enough of that. That was like pulling teeth. Sometimes it goes smoothly, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> All right, let's see what disaster they left for me to clean up. Wow, love it. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. A part of me just like wants to keep this setup up just because it's so pretty. Good thing it didn't thunderstorm the day of the wedding. That would have sucked. Oh, hi, sweet baby. What you got there? Is that a ham and cheese? What's playing on the radio for you? Pop! Huh. What's up, Tony? One of my friends heard about how great you are! Can I give them your number? No, you may not. <laughs> we don't need to meet any more people. Like, not even a little bit. How come this didn't bloom? Growth stage blossoming. That's annoying. Your neighborhood's eco footprint is green. That's what I'm talking about. It should have been green from the get-go, but whatever. No! Uh, eating trash? Lecture about eating trash. That's freaking disgusting. Look at all of our plants. It's so beautiful. She keeps wanting to invite over this Ahmed person. Who is that? This, this person here. That's the second time she's asked for him to come over after school. But nah, this mood you got going on here, it's atrocious. We need to take care of that first. <sighs> so everyone is sleeping, and once everyone wakes up... Uh-oh, what happened? Entering a phase, a mean streak? Honey, no. Why'd you have to get up to do that? You could have waited till morning to enter your mean streak phase. <laughs> what are you off to do? No, go to sleep, please. And when you wake up, I suppose we will age both Teddy and Maria, and then give them their makeovers. Hopefully we'll be able to make juice out of the glow orb, and because I'm really curious. All right, Tony, let's get your butt up. Let's go ahead and cook. Actually, shoot. George needs to be fed. Good morning, George. How are you? I hope you're feeling fine. Let's make them a honey cake. There you go, George. Good boy. You didn't eat anyone at the wedding. Hmm. I guess I suppose we should make dinner as well. I wonder what the little girls would like. What do you think their favorite meal is? Popcorn crickets? <laughs> um. Hmm. What's something that little girls like to eat? Oh, flirty heart cookies. That would be cute. Taco casserole, perhaps? Pancakes? Maybe they can have breakfast for dinner. Spaghetti? Mmm. I do be hungry, though. Let's do pancakes. Pancakes for dinner sounds really cute. Oh, this cake looks so good. Like, what do you think a honey cake tastes like? There she goes, flipping them pancakes. Getting ready for some birthday fun. Here we go. No! Oh my god, why do you have to do that? Why? Okay. It's lit. It's freaking lit. Um, let's have it be there. Hopefully she can blow the candles out there. Okay. Freddy, get up. Grab yourself a serving. You grab yourself a serving as well. Put Teddy here first before you eat. Yay! Oh, you already finished, but whatever, so thought that counts. Uh, grab serving for Teddy. There you go, little baby. Enjoy your pan clocks. Sit down, Fred. Yay, look! Have we ever seen this before? I don't think we have. This is a rare occasion. There she goes, making a mess. Love it. 
Homegirl needs a diapy change. Dang, girl, stare harder. What is she doing? Talk. I wonder if I put the cake in the middle of the table, if sh if they'll be able to blow the candles out here. Oh my god, she can! Okay, okay. Make a wish. This is adorable. Happiest of birthdays to you! Oh no, she's like, I wanted to go first. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, so her other traits, get, I guess we could just randomize and see what we get. Essence of flavor? Huh. I guess that makes sense. <sighs> Should we do essence of flavor? So she'd be like a cook or something? Okay, let's randomize three times and whatever we like the most out of the three is what we'll choose, okay? So we got essence of flavor, heat acclimation, no. Mentor, okay. Essence of flavor it is. <laughs> All right, and her aspiration? Hmm, okay. Um, should we give her the eco innovator aspiration? Okay, I know what to do. Since she's a teenager, I'm gonna give her the friend of the world aspiration. I know we're not gonna be playing with this family anymore, but I kind of feel like maybe when she ages up into an adult, her aspiration might change to ego innovator or to like, um, the culinary one. Not sure, not sure, but love that. Okay. Can you add candles? There we go. Uh, who got married? Darling Wall, Cornelia, no one we care about. Okay, all right, baby Teddy, it is your turn. She's stanky. This is, that's some outfit you got on, Mari. I'm not gonna show you guys what what she looks like yet. Okay, we can kind of see. Um, I'm saving it for Cass. Oops. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. I freaking missed it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wow, she aged up with red hair. I'm shook. I'm shook. Okay, Teddy is going to be a natural musician. Okay, let's do the three again. Natural musician, bad cook, Cygnus resistance. Oh my gosh. Okay, natural musician it is. Alright, and her aspiration... Creative. Alright guys, have a slice. Let's go. Oh my gosh. It looks like crispy on the inside. Like there's like layer of like crispy honeycomb in the middle or something. I need it. I need it. Oh shoot, we gotta get you a regular chair now. All right, let's get rid of this. Maxie, you're freaking leaving your hair everywhere. Have I been calling her the wrong name? Yeah, no, it's Maxie. I don't know why I thought it might have been Maxine. Ah, yibs. Such lovely cake. You know what? Let's finish it. Let's freaking finish it. When does that ever happen? Why are they all moving outside? Okay, weird. They ate a whole cake, guys. Talk about celebration. Give some food to Maxie. I know your your plate's empty, but looks like you can do it anyway. It looks like egg. Gross. I wish Teddy was aging up into a teen and not a child. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. All right, empty the trash and let's pop into create a sim. I don't understand. Every time I tell them to empty the trash, they just put it back on the ground. As if this dumpster outside didn't even exist. Okay, Mari, let's see what we got. 
Okay, first of all, let's give you normal teeth. Uh... Oh my god, what eyes did you have? I, I remember, I remember. Okay. They were these ones. Yep, okay. And then... If you guys want me to, I can put this family either in a legacy challenge or one of my other challenges. Or... I can just save this save file for like a rainy day or something. Uh, like maybe like a future pack that comes out that we want to play or something like that. We can use this family for, for that. Um, I guess I'll leave it up to you guys. So let me know in the comments what you prefer. I was, <laughs> I just thought to myself, wait a minute. She doesn't even look like Freddy or Tony, but then I remembered she's adopted. All right, guys, I'm obsessed with her. Look at her. She's so pretty. All right, what do you want to wear, though? Dang! She's so curvy, I love it. I guess because she grew up on a farm, we should dress her kind of farmy. Aww. That looks so good on her. Tony wears this, but in a different color. Okay, I like it. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's really adorable. Okay, so we've got one outfit here. We've got this outfit. Um, what do we want? What shoes do we want for this? Let's do it with this shirt, actually, because I've used the other shirt so many times. Um, okay, let's do those shoes. And then what shoes do we want for this cute little dress? What about just white vans? I like it. Oh my god, my eyes. My eyes. Do any of you guys have grandmas or moms that make their own chili um, like on the stove or in the house like make their own like hot sauce or salsa or whatever and when they do like it just stings your eyes. Hmm. <laughs> my door is closed but it's seeping underneath the door through the crack and my eyes are freaking burning. Alright guys, here's Mari all done. Hope you like her. Big fan. Very big fan. Let's move on to Miss Teddy here. It's not as exciting because she's only a child, but it is what it is. Okay. I see... I think I see more Freddy in her than I do Tony, but... Hmm. I'm so tempted in just making her a teen. How do we feel about that? I mean, it's not like we're gonna play this family anymore, you know? And I'm dying to see what she's gonna be like in, as an adult. I'm sure you guys are dying for it too, so let's just go ahead and do it. But hold on, let me first... Uh, I think this was the color hair she had when she was little, right? Was it this one? No, I think it was this one actually. All right guys, let's age her up to a teen. I'm dying to see, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, whoa. Okay, I think she has a funky skin detail on. Wow. Hold on. She has to have a skin detail on. What the heck? She doesn't? That's just this. Why is it all splotchy? That one looks way better. This is what she had. I think we're gonna have to go with that one. I don't know what the heck's the deal with this. Do you guys see that though? Like the pixel pixelation? Actually, I think this one's probably closer. Yeah, it looks much better. Okay. <sighs> she has such striking features and she doesn't even have a skin detail on, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit <laughs> in the best way possible. Cause holy crap, she is like chef's kiss beautiful oh, with those brows. Dude, she could be a hundred percent she could be a model. I wish that was a career in The Sims. I wish so bad, because that's definitely what we would do. 
I guess we could pretend. She's got... She doesn't even have one. Oh, she doesn't even have one. Oh wait, what's this? Okay. So that... Mm, wow, not even a nose mask. Okay, so she doesn't have much. Alright. Please get this awful hair off you. <laughs> Let's put the same skin detail on as your mom. Okay. Okay. I see where the mouth came from now. She doesn't even need big lashes. Wow. That nose as well. Dude. She could 100% be a model, guys. Like... I love her. Now to find a hair that like suits her face. I don't want anything that covers it because then maybe we should give her a short haircut like her mom. I've already decided that we're keeping her teen. <laughs> we're just skipping that childhood phase. It's whatever. You guys, this Maxis match hair though, it's so good. Oh man, that's really good. If you want to download it, it's by Enri Enrique. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's good stuff. Wow, this new hair from Nightcrawler. That's good stuff. That is a good hair right there. Wowzers. This one's really nice. I like this a lot. This one's nice too, guys. <sighs> Gosh, decisions, decisions. You know what? I think this is the one. It's so pretty and I think... Shoot, hold on. No, I think braids look really nice on her, but where is that one braided updo? This one? I mean, I guess we could use both of those hairs. Like, hair down and hair up type thing. Okay, let's find her something to wear. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Oh my god, guys, wow. I want to play with her more, like, really very badly. <laughs> um, oh my god, oh my god. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, like, something like that, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna put her in these weird shoes for this outfit, because, I don't know, I just feel like it, it fits. So let's give her one more everyday outfit, and then... Yeah! That will be it. Guys, she is everything. I swear, I could spend all day in Create a Sim just putting on outfits, on, putting outfits on her. I'll definitely upload her to the gallery so that you guys can have her in your game too. And I am so tempted in putting her in Legacy Challenge and making her the next heir's like wife, cause that could be a way that we could integrate these two let's plays. She's just really, really pretty and I want these jeans in my legacy challenge so bad. Oh my god, look at her in this intricate jumpsuit. That's really pretty. Alright guys, I'll show you her outfits. I'm all done. So here's her first one. Here's the second. Um, here's her formal wear. Her athletic wear. Her sleep. This is her party outfit, her swim, hot weather, love this one, cold weather. All right, she's done. So, <sighs> let's see, out of three. Oh wait, what? No, I didn't want to randomize that one. Okay. Um, ah. That one's gonna be there, but we'll randomize for this and we'll just change this one back, okay? All right. Hot-headed, slow learner, Rider. I don't like any of those. That's so annoying. Well, I guess writer and natural musician, maybe she likes to write songs. So maybe she could be a famous musician and be like a model at the same time. <laughs> okay, yeah, musical genius. We'll do that for her. I'm very satisfied. I hope you don't mind that I just completely fast-forwarded Teddy's childhood. <laughs> Aww. Love her. 
Love her too. Why is there fireworks? What the? That went off two days ago and it's going off again. <laughs> Two teenage daughters, my goodness. But yeah, guys, I guess that's it. That's the end. So we've got Tony here who will live the rest of her days on this lot, raising her two teenage daughters, selling her juice. They're pretty much set for life, so she doesn't really need to worry about much. She can just relax, enjoy her time being married to Freddy. Ew, Freddy nasty. <laughs> And Mr. Freddy here also will be able to relax, go fishing whenever he wants to, finish up his fish collection that he has here on the wall. He'll have plenty of time to do that. They don't really need to worry about anything. He can keep going on adventures with Maxi, which is just adorable. I turned autonomy off, so that's why they're just standing there. I should probably turn it back on. Um, and then for Teddy, she will chase her dream of being a famous musician, singer, songwriter, um, and maybe pursue some modeling. And then we've got Mari, our adopted daughter, who will hopefully one day become a famous chef. She looks so freaking tired. <laughs> maybe have her own cooking show or maybe write a cookbook or open her own restaurant. But that's it for this LP. Let me know how you feel if you want me to like, oh no, <gasps> horrible timing. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to put this family in the legacy save file or if you want me to save this this family in this save file for something in the future maybe. Or, oh my gosh, look at all, is, is that the trash fruit? Is that why? How have I never noticed that the trash fruits have <laughs> trash soil? That's so funny. That is hilarious. But anyway, as I was saying, let me know how you feel about me putting this family into Legacy. If we should uh, use Teddy as a future love interest. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you guys a slideshow of every screenshot that I got during this Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're wondering if you should buy Ego Lifestyle <laughs> now that I've played a good amount of it, it has its pros and it has its cons. The build items are amazing. Um, I love the world. Uh, the juicing was awesome. I absolutely love that aspect of it. But then on the flip side, the NAPs, the Neighborhood Action Plans, just, they've been causing a lot of issues. I've heard, I'm sure you guys have heard about it if you're like active in the Sims community, but yeah, they cause a lot of problems, a lot of glitches, um, a lot of annoying things happen when certain NAPs are um, active, and yeah, I wish that there was a way you could just turn off NAPs. If that was an option, then I would 100% say yes, buy this pack. If you're willing to put up with all the issues, then um, I would get it. I mean, I love having it in my game, sometimes I freaking hate it, but overall I love it. But I love you guys, thank you so much again, and I'll see you in my next video, which is going to be 100 Baby, and then we will be starting Not So Berry. I am so freaking excited to start a new Let's Play. It's been a while since Eco Lifestyle came out, which was like months ago. <laughs> so I'm really stoked to get into something new. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play the slideshow now. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!